Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I will be taking you through multiplication of polynomials. In my previous videos, I established that polynomials are expressions with ascending or descending power of variables. I told you that when you have 2s plus 3, this is an expression because there is no equality sign. However, when you have something like this, it becomes an equation because it's telling us that 2s plus 3 is the same thing as 3. Equation tells you that one thing is the same as the other. Now, given the polynomial, 2s is the same thing as 2s raised to the power of 1. Because if I give you something like this, a, it is the same thing as a raised to the power of 1, which is ta. Now, this is s raised to the power of 1. Why this is 3? It still carries s, but the power is 0. So I can rewrite this expression as 2s raised to the power of 1 plus 3s raised to the power of 0. Because s raised to the power of 0 is 1, so 3 remains. With this, you can see that the power of variable is descending 1 and 0. This is not the only polynomials you have. We have polynomials of higher degrees. You can have something like 3s raised to the power of 4 plus 5s raised to the power of 3 minus 2s raised to the power of 2 plus s minus 6. Now, given this expression, you notice that this variable carries 4. It's raised to the power of 4. And it is the highest power. With that, we can say that this polynomial is of degree 4. So this we have established. And you see that the power of variables is descending. S raised to the power of 4. S raised to the power of 3. S raised to the power of 2. And this is S raised to the power of 1. Then we are here, the power of S is 0. So these are polynomials. How do we multiply polynomials? So let's see how to go about multiplication of polynomials. Before that, don't fail to check out my videos on addition of polynomials, substitution of polynomials, and subtraction of polynomials. And feel free to subscribe to this channel to be the first to know of my latest videos. So let's multiply this by this. And question 2 says, multiply this by this. To solve this, we bring out the expressions. This is 7s raised to the power of 3 minus 5s squared plus 4s minus 9. Times, we are multiplying by s squared plus 3s minus 2. So this is degree 3 and this is of degree 2. To multiply polynomials, we take each of the values, you take minus 2, you multiply by this expression, you keep your answer, then you come back to plus 3s, use it to multiply everything here, put down your answer, then come to s square, use it to multiply everything, keep your answer, at the end you add the whole values. So let's see how it goes. Minus 2 times minus 9 would give you plus 18 because minus times minus is equals plus is that okay then we continue minus 2 times 4s is minus 8s so here we have minus 8s the same minus 2 times minus 5s squared this will give you minus times minus will give you plus 2 times 5 will give you 10 s square. You've gotten that. Then minus 2 times 7s raised to the power of 3. This will give you minus 14s raised to the power of 3. So we are done with this step. We go to plus 3s and use it to multiply the expression. Now, plus 3s times minus 9 is minus 27s. So this will give you minus 27s. 
plus 3s times plus 4s will give you 12s square because 3 times 4 is 12 s times s is s square or s raised to the power of 2 3s times minus 5s square this plus times this minus already would give you a minus then 3 times 5 is 15 s times s square is s raised to the power of 3 in multiplication you add the variables so if you have s raised to the power of 3 times s this is this s is the same as raised to the power of 1 so you simply add them to get s raised to the power of 4 in that case we have s square times s which is the same thing as s raised to the power of 1 adding we have s raised to the power of 3 now we multiply by this we, are, we now have plus 3s times 7s raised to the power of 3. This is already plus. Then 3 times 7 is 21. This is 21. s times s raised to the power of 3 is s raised to the power of 4. Like I just established. So s raised to the power of 4. So this is the second step s squared times minus 9 is simply minus 9s squared s squared times 4s is simply plus 4s squared times s is s raised to the power of 3 now we move s squared times minus 5s squared is simply minus 5s raised to the power of 4 2 plus 2 then s square times 7s raised to the power of 3 is 7s raised to the power of 5. So this is the final stage. Then we add all these values. When adding in polynomials, we add values with the same power of variables. This is s raised to the power of 4. We add it to a value with s raised to the power of 4. We can't add s raised to the power of 4 to s raised to the power of 5. It doesn't work. They only multiply. So we add this plus 0 because it doesn't have any other value here. So this is plus 18 minus 14s square. Look at it. Because I'm taking time to solve it so that you don't make mistakes. Minus 14s square plus, since we are adding everything, this is minus 15s square. So minus 14s raised to the power of 3 rather. Plus, plus times minus is minus. Then minus 15s raised to the power of 3. So this will give you minus 29s raised to the power of 3. Now this minus 29s raised to the power of 3 is plus, we are now adding this 4. 4s raised to the power of 3. So this will give you 25 also. And it's still negative, minus 25. So minus 25 is raised to the power of 3. Then we come to this stage. This is simply 21 s raised to the power of 4 minus 5. So 21 minus 5 is 16. So here we'll give you 16 s raised to the power of 4 plus then here will give you 7s raised to the power of 5 so that is it let's see the next question okay uh number two we are multiplying this expression by this expression so we take its uh, value from this expression and multiply by this other expression that's how we multiply in polynomials so starting with this multiplying with one you can come here and say times one one times three is three 1 times minus 2s is minus 2s. This is plus 8s square. s is power 3. So 1 times any meaningful number will give you 1. We've done that. So the next is multiplying by 3s minus 3s rather. So minus 3s times 3 is minus 9s. 
menos 3s times menos 2s is plus 6s square. Menos 3s times 8 would give you 24. So that's minus 24s raised to the power of 3. Minus 3s times s raised to the power of 3 is minus 3s raised to the power of 4. We are done with that. Now, next, let's multiply throughout with s square. So this will give you s square times 3 is 3s square. s square times minus 2s is minus 2s raised to the power of 3. s square times 8s square would give you 8s raised to the power of 4. S squared times S raised to the power of 3 would give you S raised to the power of 5. Now we are done with this stage. So let's multiply with 2S raised to the power of 3. 2S raised to the power of 3 times 3 would give you 6S raised to the power of 3. 2S raised to the power of 3 times minus 2S would give you minus 4s raised to the power of 4. So here is minus 4s raised to the power of 4. And 2s raised to the power of 3 times 8s square would give you 16s raised to the power of 5. Plus. Then 2s raised to the power of 3 times s raised to the power of 3 will give you 2s raised to the power of 6. So that's 2s raised to the power of 6. So now that we've gotten this, so let's add the polynomials. Here it will remain plus 3. Minus 2s plus minus 9s will give you minus 11s. 8s squared plus 6s squared would give you 14s square plus 3s square would give you 17s square s square s raised to the power of 3 minus 24s raised to the power of 3 would give you minus 23s raised to the power of 3 minus 23s raised to the power of 3 plus minus 2s raised to the power of 3 would give you minus 25s raised to the power of 3. And minus 25s raised to the power of 3 plus 6s would give you 19s raised to the power of 3. So we are here now. Minus 3s raised to the power of 4 plus 8s raised to the power of 4 would give you 5 already. Then 5 minus 4 is 1. So this is 1s raised to the power of 4. S minus. And here, s raised to the power of 5 plus 16s raised to the power of 5 is plus 17s raised to the power of 5. And here we'll give you 2s raised to the power of 6. So that is your answer. That's all on multiplication of polynomials. Hope you found this lecture helpful. If so, feel free to subscribe to this channel and don't fail to let others know about this. Thank you.